What's up everybody? Welcome to Glass Camp by the Beer Reviews. I'm lucky I can keep my eyes open. I look like a rabbit. Anyway, <laughs> anyway it's, it's late. The wife's off work and she wants to keep drinking. I mean, she wants to go to bed, but she's like, I'm trying to edit some videos. I got like crap load of videos I'm trying to get the music on. I enjoy it. My, my favorite part is putting the music on it. I think that's cool. It's like a little bit of my thoughts and my feelings. <laughs> what? That's weird. Anyway, so she said, well, I said, we'll get one of those, sh those short beers, you know, you've got. So anyway, um, this is a, a beer out of Columbus, Ohio again. It is North High Brewing Company. I've never been to this brewery. I'm surprised. It's Stardust or Stardust. Wait. Yeah, Stardust is Stardust. Imperial IPA. They got the Star Wars theme going on. It's pretty cool can, actually. It, I mean, plain, but just cool to what it's trying to do. Uh, Imperial IPA, 8.8. .8. I can't believe she picked 8. Whatever. So anyway, 8.8. .8, um, Columbus, Ohio. North High Brewing. She poured hers, hers at the... the she poured, she poured hers. It's actually got a really good smell to it. I'm very surprised, actually. It's so late in the night, I, I'm having trouble pulling a smell out of it. I mean, I'm getting a lot of smell, just what it is and dictating that and identifying as a whole other story. Definitely got some malt in there, a real light malt, cracker like a cracker malt. Some orange grapefruit, but a lot of malt. Get a lot of malt in there. Pretty darn color though. It looks pretty good here, but it looks great on camera. This is sweet, sweet, golly. This is rough. <laughs> it's a sweet, bready malt to it. But it's got some fresh aromatics. I just can't quite pick it up. Maybe grapefruit, but it, I'm not sure if that's right. One more time. I'm trying to, let's, let's wrap this up. I mean, it's definitely malty. It's got that malt. I'm, I'm getting a lot of sweet malt. It, it's a pleasant, nice sweet malt. There we go. Now we're getting something. This video, I know. I'm going to do it quick here. Almost. I mean, almost like an ice box. You put your face in the freezer, you know, when you were cold as a kid. I mean, you actually, when you were hot as a kid in the summertime and you only had that air unit in the, in the window. That's kind of how it smells when you put your head in the freezer. It's kind of how it smells. But it's got it's got some nice complexity with the malt the malt mixing with the the hop. It is a little, I guess, grapefruit. Um, maybe some grape, melon melon type aromas in it. Let's give it a taste. Wow. Wow. Holy cow. This thing's got some taste, man. Goodness gracious. He 
8.8, I mean, you taste it, it's a, uh, probably a 7, is what you taste it as. But man, this thing's got taste, for real. Serious taste on it. I'm not sure what the taste is. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Uh, bear with me here. It was a long night. And like I said, the white cheddar pulled us out. I'm done. But we're trying. It's that sweet malt backbone, but it's it's so nice and pleasant sweetness to it. It's just a treat. It's a treat. My dog Winston just heard me say treat. Well, he's out. Gotta be careful when you say the word treat. God, it's a long video. I'm gonna try one more time. We're gonna be done. A little alcohol coming in at this point. One more time. Golly. It's killing him. Yeah. It's a little melon, apricot. Not a melon, apricot, peach. Apricot and peach. Malty, apricot, peach. Great beer for 8.8. .8. Really enjoying this beer. Cutting it off quick. Actually, probably could have done it in two minutes, but in the night. So anyway, overall rating, good beer. Very good beer, man. I'm saying I'm giving it like a nine point two. It's crazy how good this beer is for um, a little sixteen ounce shelf beer that you can get. I assume. In Ohio, but I've been in Ohio. And I haven't seen this one. I, I don't know if I just wasn't looking for it anyway. But 9.2, great beer. Appreciate, appreciate you watching. Thank you.